Jenny and I'm from uh, Konstant and uh, we organized this uh, session and uh, we organized a workshop on Friday on hacking knitting machines mm -hmm. so that you can use machines from the 70s and 80s and send your own program, uh, send your own uh, designs as pictures to be knitted. Okay. Yeah. So how do you have this idea to have these old things and how did you knew that it's gonna work with a uh, software <laughs> and it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's not you know, it's not a big GUI, so how did you have the idea to uh, connect two of them? Well, a lot of fashion schools still use these old machines. Mm -hmm. They're not hacked, they're really kind of uh, basic. And Claire, I met Claire and she's a textile designer. I work on e-textile projects. Mm -hmm. So we started working together and looking together at things. And at one point we see, ah, oh, there are hacks for the, these machines. Mm -hmm. And so we invited people, we tried a hack, it was so-and-so. And for this one, this is a, a hack that uh, has been existing since uh, two years. And basically what you do is you order the shield and you hope it works. Ah, okay. Yeah. But uh, as you shown me on the, you know, on the down, yeah. so it, it still looks mechanically, it looks yeah. complicated. So. It's still, uh, machine knitting is not an, it, it's not a, yeah, you have to really get into it. Uh, you have to feel at one with the machine. Um, uh, yeah, but it's like, I mean, 3D printing as well. You don't just... Uh, it's, it's something you learn, something you get in, in your hand. Yeah. So can I do it when I like to do it? So how many times would I need to uh, understand it? So like years maybe? or I, I, I think if you have a good teacher... <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, patience. It's with all hand. I mean, I solder, I crochet. It's patience, doing it again and again and again. If you're persistent, then you can just use it. And um, are you trying to spread this, or we can find you only where we can find you? So uh, you can find Claire's designs and her explications on her website. And then for IAB, uh, and more explanation about the shields and what machines are hackable, mm -hmm. and also how to hack them, uh, you can uh, go to the website. Ah, okay. They're actively. Is it, is it motorized that you have to mm -hmm. slide it? Uh, the, the software works on, uh, on Linux and on Windows, and <laughs> it's really so you make an image. Maximum 200 pixels, which is yeah. every pixel is a stitch. Um, you uh, send it to the Arduino, and the Arduino talks to the machine, and vice versa. Okay, so it's not that complicated when we don't have to program it. So it's you. You always, you have you ha you have to do things step by step. It's not plug and play. <laughs> Can you show us uh, like uh, ready things? Yes. Yeah. So these are. Um, hand machine knitted because even with a knitting machine you still have to do the knitting by hand and uh, this scarf is a cellular automata so it's, uh, yes, it's digital data that became a scarf ah okay and uh, if you look at, at that one this is a traditional scottish tartan and um, as its images the the images got corrupted. So <laughs> ah, okay. So that's why they're data scars. Ah, okay. Yeah. I like the black one. Maybe we can show the black one. <laughs> that's also well. That it's looks nice. So uh, really, uh, the, yeah. The black one is also a cellular automata. It, it will give some nice. Uh, yeah. Oh. Could, could you add more colors yeah, to it? Yeah, that's great. But the, it's it's nice to see the back. So ah. this is why you close it, hand by hand. Ah. Because if you if you change color and it's really far, it makes these loops. Ah, okay. Uh, but it's still warmer then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna check it out and yeah, try to hack machines, knitting machines from the 70s. Sounds really difficult. Okay, thanks. Thanks. thanks.